Hello guys, here's a new Blender 2.91 tutorial about the new boundary sculpting brush. I will use a simple example, add a cylinder for you to get started with the brush. I set the cap fill type to nothing. Then I go to edit mode and increase the size a bit, press S followed by Z. Then I press Ctrl and the R key, move the mouse wheel a bit to add two edge loops. Okay, we can start with this shape, I go to object mode and enable the wireframe here in the overlays, because then we can see the geometry in the sculpting mode as well, to which I'm switching now. And here in the brushes you see now the new boundary brush. There are also now two other new brushes, but I will show you these in a future tutorial. Okay, now let's get started with the boundary brush, you see it here in the panel. And in this overview I want to show you the deformation of geometry and the different methods. The first one is bending, have a look at this. This is so satisfying and can be really useful. For instance, think about pulling up the sleeves of a pullover. Can be done with this brush now. And of course you can always switch to edit mode and edit your mesh. Add a bevel here for instance. Or scale this edge and add a bevel just to make this piece a bit more interesting and then we go back to sculpt mode and use again the boundary brush. Okay, this is the deformation type bend. Another one is expand, so let's switch to this deformation type. And here see I can expand this area along its orientation. The same for this part. And the boundary fall off I set to constant. The setting defines how the brush fall off is applied across the boundary. Constant means it is the same deformation across the whole boundary. But now set this to brush radius. And then you see the deformation is applied only in a localized area limited by the radius of the brush. And with this I can create, for instance, this kind of tips. And of course you can also use the symmetry for that. Okay, now I'll play a little bit around more with the settings. For instance, try different boundary falloffs like loop. With this the falloff is applied in a loop pattern. And when the brush is bigger, more loops are covered. And for the deformation you can also use inflate. I recommend just to try the different methods and falloffs for creating interesting effects and shapes. What I also want to show is that you can use the brush for an object that has a pending modifier, for instance a solidify modifier. So I switch now to the object mode and add a solidify modifier to create a solid object but I don't apply it, that's important. Now I add another edge loop here at the top of the mesh. Then select it from the other side and bring it a bit downwards, just to have some variations in the geometry. And then I change again to the sculpt mode and the boundary brush and select the bend deformation. And have a look at this. We can bend this constant area that is recognized by the brush with the solidify modifier assigned. It's very nice to play around with this. And it's also great for finding interesting forms. And then you can go back again to edit mode modify the mesh and add more details. And once I'm happy with it, I disable the wireframe overlay, then apply the modifier. Perhaps use my JMesh tools add-on and add some bevels and crisp edges. Add a metal material for instance. You get the idea. Okay guys, that's it for this short overview. I hope you like it, if you do then let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. 
and I'll see you here in the next one on JNM.